At Parkcell, we have been very focused and are very focused on innovations that would make clinical trials easier. Easier for patients to participate in and also easier for pharmaceutical companies to conduct these trials. The pandemic has been a catalyst for the adoption of several of these innovations that we have been working on over the past few years. Decentralized clinical trials is a good example. We were running less than five decentralized clinical trials pre-pandemic, and at present, we are running more than 100 of these. Worth noting that many of the decentralized clinical trials that we are currently running were not originally designed as decentralized clinical trials. In other words, these were traditional randomized controlled clinical trials. But as a result of, a, of the pandemic, we at Parkcell adapted, working closely with our clients, to move these from traditional trials to more decentralized clinical trials. Currently, more than 50% of our new proposals, so more than half of our new proposals, include decentralized clinical trial elements. For example, we deploy at-home care with our trusted home health care and technology solutions. And in addition, we, employ, we deploy monitoring through our industry-leading data-driven monitoring approach. In addition to that, we stay in direct contact with our patient. This is, of course, critically important to stay in direct and regular contact. And we do this through our Parks Health Patient Innovation Center, ensuring sustained engagement and communication with our patients. Remote monitoring is another example of how we at Parkcell adapted in response to the pandemic. Pre-pandemic, less than 10% of our monitoring was done remotely. Uh, during the height of the pandemic, we adapted and uh, more than half of our monitoring visits, the bulk of it, was done remotely. Direct to patient shipments is another example of an innovation that was really uh, embraced during the time of the pandemic. So at present, we are shipping study material on behalf of uh, almost 600 sites directly to patients. These are all examples of how Parkcell as a company adapted to the needs of the patients, to the needs of pharmaceutical companies, our, our clients, and also to the needs that was push, put on us as a society as a result of the, the pandemic. Personally, I do not anticipate that as an industry, we will go back to the way that we did things pre-pandemic. In fact, here at Parkcell, we are actively campaigning not to go back through our hashtag no going back Twitter campaign.